What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I am back with some more Age Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color playing as Poseidon. His name is La Crowne. We're going to call him Crown here. And his opponent today in the red color playing has said his name is Matrius. The map is what looks like Blue Lagoon. I never know with these new maps. I never know. I never ever no uh first match there was won very tightly by crown there with some very nice set play we've got a little bit of a matchup swapsy here bubs matrius taking his set versus crowns of poseidon uh so this is going to be really interesting we'll see what they can pull out here uh this is definitely a smurf here la crown has nine or ten wins and zero losses uh and you can leave your uh, comments about who you believe this is. Is it Nigam? Is it Magic? Is it uh, any random person anywhere? Is it King? Who knows, man? Could be anyone. But playing some really good Asian mythology so far. Got the Pharaoh empowering the granary here. Getting all that food out. Villages onto the gold mine. Houses coming up in order to block in this location here. Continuing on, we've got the uh, priest getting uh, attacked here, but deciding to ignore that one in order to get the lion out. Looks like that one gets out very, very fast. You can see the conversion time is only 60 seconds, so if you can get that one there very fast, you can get that uh, get that lion out there, and he does manage to protect this uh, priest here for the time being, and he grabs some of his own hunt at this point, probably to shut down his walking time there, so he can get those ones back into his base. With only having 600 food in your starting hunt, you have to leave that very, very soon in this game. Uh, you're not going to be able to get to that second age without some more starting hunts, so he may be... Uh, uh, grabbing these zebra to send back to gather them got the three villages on gold mines here We've got a villager jumping onto the berry bush He does have access to gazelle here and that is possibly a whole pack just in this corner here But I guess he doesn't want to guess about that one uh, We've got 60 food left here 60 food left over here as well. So he is gonna probably We may have a little bit of idle villager time here or He might have to eat that pig until the zebra gets in here uh, if we check out the resources here, we have got Bubs throwing down this temple. It's going to be a very fast second age and potential usage of that shifting sands in combination with priest, pharaoh, wadget, animals onto maybe the gold mine or maybe onto the wood line here. We do see that a hyena did get picked off there by the villagers of Crown. So it's going to be a little bit difficult for Matrius to scout out the base of Crown here to figure out where he needs to get the line of sight. He did use his vision there so we can't just cast vision on the next uh, on the base of um on the base of crown then we are seeing this pig is going to get gathered here check out the food situation for uh matrix getting very very close to that next stage there we go he is going to be advancing through to the classical age through tar there uh and i'm sure we're going to see crown get there even faster one more villager in advance probably might want to be a might be an idea to grab out theseus in the classical sorry in the archaic age before you advance so you just have something to defend with i know it's not a lot but anything to distract your opponent there is a good idea here we go Hermes is the god of choice coming through with a 430 got villagers moving forward onto this location here grabbing those rhinoceros with 10 villagers on gold are we seeing any priests coming out? No priests coming out. So it is like we are, it is looking like we're seeing a second town center getting grabbed, probably this location here. Nice and Joe style as it is. You know, have that economy getting out those villages pumping out onto the gold. Probably going to, probably going to have the gold. Maybe not actually. Even with 10 or 9 villages on this gold mine. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit late unfortunately even with the 410 like what was the point in advancing so fast if you don't have the goal to get that town center up we are seeing the Hawaiian checking out what's going on there is this location here with hunt that you can jump onto with priest and or Pharaoh and uh, and animals and wadget but not actually going for it in this game uh, I do like the uh, the opt away from the abuse instead playing the game as it is meant to be played villagers coming onto this town center now looks like they're trying but they can't click it just yet there we go town center is coming down now for uh for matrius here 
We got Hippolyta coming out for Crown. Looking like he's trying to find someone to do here, but Down Center's definitely going to be getting it up before anything gets over there. So Crown's early heroes aren't going to be able to do all too much. There's a really nice back hunt here and hunt underneath this location here. So Matrius should simply just be able to produce units for quite some time. Uh, it does look like he's short food just a little bit there. So having a little bit of idle Town Center time. So that's unfortunate, meaning Matrius is going to have to play a little bit of catch up here in order to get back into the uh into the villager lead whereas crown has just had perfect villager production so far so we're going to be just a little bit in front for the time being until the villagers start pumping out so give a uh, give matrius 30 seconds he'll be caught up give him a minute back and he'll be in the lead just a little bit some walls coming up for matrius he's playing very very safe at this point we are seeing second town center for Crown coming up. Uh, so Crown playing safe himself as well, not re like really respecting the set aggression, uh, which I like. I like respecting the set uh, set stuff there. And he is going to be getting that town center up in order to continue in this game at a decent economic uh, situation there. Uh, and ooh, almost losing a bit. No, that's not a villager. That's the wall. <laughs> um, chucking up another ground array. These villagers are uh, being a little bit silly, but they'll be able to get onto that food. We've got a little bit of a raid coming in over here, but Pharaoh is here. Uh, Mattress being a little bit slow in order to deal with that. We've got the, the uh, Theseus <laughs> is going to be bashing away at the wall, and the centaur does manage to pick off one villager there, which is nice for crown and if i could have a villager counter which i'm not sure if there is a button to get that villager counter up or not i'm sure you'd see uh crown in the lead at this point uh going to be able to pump even more villages now got the two town centers up doesn't have any military buildings up so he can be susceptible to uh small amounts of aggression we've got the spearman pumping right now for matrius got the two town centers pumping villages as well uh and we are seeing uh Hippolyta going to be taking down these spearmen very, very fast. Even with that relic, Harmonious Necklace could take that one back. It's basically a pickaxe in order to get even more gold if you so choose. But I guess you're not going to be gathering all too much gold at this point. You want most of your villagers on food to pump out villagers non-stop. Seeing these villagers here getting uh, attacked by Hippolyta just a little bit. And it is looking like this villager is going to be able to save itself. But uh, he's on 1 HP. Super, super sad right there. Uh, Pharaoh chasing down the Hippolyta as well. Pharaoh dealing 14 damage. That's absolutely huge. 110 HP though. So Hippolyta does win that fight normally. Especially with the huge range advantage. But Pharaoh going to pick up that scout. More of those spearmen are pumping out. But only from one town center there. Looks like he's not happy with the current situation of resources. No pickaxe just yet. No villagers on on a, a savannah tree so we're going pure joe right here hates upgrades just wants villages going for that third town center here with uh with crown this is a bit of a bold grab here especially because there's so many spearmen out but the spearmen ignoring that one look like they're moving on over here trying to get a small raid onto these villages the villagers could fight back at this point there are quite a few of them, and it is looking like that's the option. And Matrius is just going to run in, run out, get the harass happening, and force Crown to react. Unfortunately, Matrius's best option with these five spearmen would be to just come onto this town center at this point, force out a ceasefire of some description. We're seeing a house coming up right now for Crown, uh, but the spearmen are in here to stop that one. So maybe Crown getting just a little bit pop blocked in. No, he's sitting just a, just a little bit in front, so he's on top of the houses. The heroes are over here. We've got some military buildings now up for Crown, so he should be able to move in uh, and, and deal with this. The uh, centaur going to be able to pick off these spearmen very, very fast. And the, uh, the elephant has expired here. Definitely going to get those villagers back to work. Three town centers are up now for Crown. We check out the food situation. You can get those pumping villagers. And there we go. Setting up the auto queue. Pumping out them very, very fast. And still no wood income here for Matrius. Grabbing up that armory. There is a war, uh, there is an elephant here to eat. 750 food of elephant there. And the spearmen are going to be getting out of here. As he's starting to get those toxitae. 
And Matrius is going to have to start thinking about some sort of different unit composition here. Uh, and maybe even a third town center if he wants to keep up with the villagers. Uh, Crown is just going to get very, very far ahead uh, if he does not grab that next town center. But I guess Crown's struggling on the food just a little bit there. But that's to be uh, understood uh, as we... Yeah, as we are spending food on uh, Hippocon here. Seeing a little bit of a shift here, moving... Oh, does manage to get uh, five units here, but most of these should get out. Maybe a couple of them will die to the town center. Yeah, we've got, got two die to the town center, maybe three. Town towers being a little bit inaccurate there. Does get these guys out, and they can be a little bit of a pain now on the raids because they're in the back of the base of Matrius here. Matrius moving in with the Spearman. Looking like he's aiming onto some of these villages. The Rhino does expire. Pharaoh does go down. Uh, Toxte are going to be trying to pick this location. I've got Hippolyta in here as well. Uh, final a bit of hunt there is going to be expiring. We do see the centaur moving in onto these villagers only on 23 HP. So if he can drag this uh, villager away, he should be able to pick this guy off. There we go. Does trade one villager for a centaur. I guess I guess uh, Matrius will take that trade uh, most of the days of the week. Crown now moving these these final units that he saved from the shift into this location here to be just a little bit of a pain. Uh, Matrius could move uh, gate this and uh, move on to this gold mine, but instead he's just going to move these villages up here, take down a couple of these units. Does manage to keep a Hippocon alive, but uh, that's not going to be able to do all too much. Even if he runs it in uh, once he gets medium upgrades, the villagers still just turn around and pick it off without losing all too much. Starting to see some of those those slingers pumping out now for Matrius, but they're under a lot of pressure right here. Looks like he's going to be able to take out a couple of those tox today, but um, going to be able to actually only getting one tox today here, losing two or even three of those slingers. We are seeing Nephthys has got through now for Matrius. Siege Workshop getting thrown down. Uh, not going to be any type of next age here for uh, for Crown looks like it's just going to sit in the classical age just for a little bit longer and force some more units out for Matrius. Don't want to let Matrius sit in this heroic age uh, without enough pressure here. I would love to see Crown send some units over to this location here, but I don't think he knows it's getting gathered. We've got the Spearman raids coming in right now for Matrius as well. Maybe I'll take out a couple of these villagers at the very least. The gold mine is, uh, is definitely an issue here. Uh, and he maybe he does have this gold mine here, so I'm not sure why he's grabbing this one. Uh, and we are going to see most of these villages do get out. Potentially going to pick off one here, definitely one here. So that's two villages do get picked off there for a couple of spearmen. Always worth it. And we are seeing even more are falling at this point. Well, not villages, but even more units are falling at this point for Matrias. Matrias is going to be taking down some of these Hippocon as well. We've got the uh, Scorpion Man doing his stuff and the Pharaoh in the back here. It's generally a better idea to get the Pharaoh to empower a town center when you are under attack under the town center because the town center does 12 damage. Pharaoh does 17. But the town center deals two arrows worth of damage there. So if you empower it, you get double the amount of damage because double the amount of arrows fire. I think that's how it works. You do see a little bit of a raid on over here. Does bash down that wall. A lot of these villagers are going to be feeling the pain of those Hippocon. And no reaction just yet for Matrias. All of these villagers dying. Looks like Matrias are not, um, not able to react fast enough. We see a couple of those spearmen do come over here. But so many villager deaths right now for Matrias here. And the units are just taking down every stray thing that they possibly can. We do have the Migdol Stronghold in the back. No crenellation, so a lot of these arrows are going to be missing here, but they do do a lot of damage, in, especially with the Pharaoh empowering there. And we are moving out of this location at this point. Uh, house under siege here, but that's not going to do all too much. We do have a nice gold mine operation in this location, so that's going to be totally fine for, uh, for Matrius to keep continuing this game with the gold. And we do see that most of these Hippocon are going to be falling. Scorpion men are out as well. Super difficult units to deal with once you have enough of them because there's only so many heroes the crown's going to have here. And are we seeing a next age from crown? He has hit the uh, villager cap here. And we do see he's got not really enough food at the moment. He needs to build a lot of those farms. He's got excess gold. Uh, but he can definitely put some villages on the favor there. Get those Nemean lions and he should be okay. Uh, we are seeing a fight breaking out onto the gold mine of Matrius. But this one is going to be going in the favor of uh, Matrius here. Even though a lot of villages do fall, uh, Matrius can simply just rebuild those. How are the 
economy going. Economy's going very, very poorly for Madrigas as he taps out. GG, well played there by Crown, putting on all of that pressure. Uh, but I feel like simply because Madrigas didn't throw a couple of villages on wood early enough to get maybe plow and pickaxe, his economy just fell super far behind. And then also not reacting to this gold mine getting attacked here was just too much there for... Um, for Matrias to deal with, and Crown just takes the game there. Super well played, taking uh, taking the uh, two two town center um, build to town there with the late second town center followed by an early third town center. Uh, really enjoyed that play there from Crown. So we'll see if they want to continue. Stick with me, and we'll uh, grab another game as soon as we possibly can.